This 10-minute videotape summarizes the development of an actively controlled, unstable flying wing aircraft. This project was inspired by the oblique wing SST concept of Dr. R.T. Jones. The aerodynamic analysis, control law design, and onboard hardware and software development were completed in a period of nine months. As a result of this work, an actively controlled demonstrator aircraft and a low-cost, lightweight digital control system were developed. The prototype research model is a 12-foot wingspan, 20-pound, tailless airplane that uses a high-performance onboard computer to stabilize the aircraft in pitch. Angle of attack and pitch rate data are acquired through sensors. The computer combines this information with pilot commands to achieve stability by rapidly moving the flaps. Pilot commands are communicated to the aircraft through radio control. Because initial flight testing of an unproven aircraft is extremely risky, a program of pre-flight vehicle testing was used. The completed aircraft was mounted to an automobile so that it was only free to pitch. By driving at the appropriate flight speed, the stability and controllability of the computer-stabilized aircraft could be safely measured. Initial tests showed that the model airplane servos were too slow for adequate flight control. In this early test, the flap motion is not in phase with the position commanded by the computer. As a result, the aircraft is unstable in pitch and contacts the mechanical limits of the test fixture. Custom high-speed servos were developed to move the flaps at frequencies as high as 10 hertz. With these new servos, the aircraft was successfully stabilized at levels of instability which were much greater than those experienced in free flight. In this run, the aircraft responds to pilot stick commands. In this test run, the final version of the angle of attack sensor is being used. A 2 hertz oscillation is visible. This is caused by jeep motion and diminishes as the road surface becomes smoother. Vehicle testing was completed in mid-July 1987 when we determined we were ready for free flight. Free flight testing was conducted at Dillon Beach, California. This site was chosen for its smooth, consistent winds and forgiving landing surface. The onboard computer consists of a 68,000 microprocessor and a floating point coprocessor. Hewlett Packard motion control chips were used to drive the servo motors. A fiber optic link connects the radio receiver to the computer. The airplane was modified to include a vertical tail for lateral stability and a slender fuselage for hand launching. The fuselage slowed the pitch dynamics somewhat from the jeep testing, but the time to double is still a very fast 0.3 seconds. This flight is the first flight of a highly unstable tailless aircraft. The aircraft is 6.5% statically unstable with a time to double of 0.298 seconds. During the flight, we see the airplane responding to rapid pitch commands as the pilot investigates control authority.
one when he really launches it. During this second flight, shallow turns were executed. As the airplane is slowed to landing speed, we can see the flaps deflecting downward to trim the airplane in slow flight. This is a clear indication of the aircraft's level of static instability. Boy, if you didn't know that thing was unstable, you wouldn't know. Turns and everything. Awesome. Okay. I blew it. That thing ballooned up so high, I lost it. The Macintosh computer was used as a terminal for communications with the onboard computer. The controls program was downloaded from the Macintosh before each flight. This allowed control algorithms and parameters to be modified. During flight, the onboard computer collects sensor data and pilot commands 20 times per second. The data is stored in onboard RAM and is uploaded to disk storage after flight completion. Up to two minutes of flight data can be collected. During this flight, filmed in slow motion, steeper turning maneuvers, including greater than 90 degree turns, were performed. Notice that the flaps on an unstable aircraft deflect downwards during turns. This flap position gives the airplane extra lift while turning and the pilot experiences improved handling characteristics. For this final flight, the static instability was increased from 6.5 to 9% by removing nose weight. Because increased instability adversely affects control authority, the aircraft was barely controllable in pitch. We can see several occasions where the flaps are deflected fully downward in an attempt to nose the plane down after being disturbed by gusts. After recovering from this stall, the aircraft lands safely in a mushing descent. The successful completion of these initial flight tests demonstrates the feasibility of the low-cost stability augmentation system. Current research involves the refinement of control laws, including implementation of nonlinear control schemes, a more powerful microprocessor, and a revised lateral control system. Possible future applications include a lightweight stability augmentation system for aircraft or RPVs, a modular and flexible flight control and data acquisition system for flight testing of a variety of aircraft types, and many non-aeronautical applications which require an inexpensive, lightweight, easily programmed control system.